So today I'm gonna be doing a uh, today I'm gonna be doing a New Year's Eve kind of glam makeup. This, it's just this uh, gold eye look that I thought it was gonna be really fun to do in New Year. Especially this look is really glamorous, but it doesn't take that much effort. Which you're welcome. So I just decided to do this look and just pair with a nude lid. So yes. So if you like this video and you like me, please, please, please. Please subscribe to my channel and give it a, a like. I would really appreciate that. And also just follow me on my social media and stay updated with my life and everything I do. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump to the video, shall we? So first of all, I'm just going to prime my lid with this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of my lid so that we can ensure this look will last long. I'm just kind of blend it in. So the next thing is just take a little bit, just just take some tape. And what I do with the tape, you just like put it on the back of my hand. You just kind of so it can remove like the main stickiness. So you just gonna it's not gonna hurt your eye once you try to peel it off. So once you're happy with it, just kind of there you go. Just try to get it like this. So once you have the tape like this, we're gonna start then with the crease color. I'm gonna be taking Sandal. I'll be taking Sandal by Mac. You just like this really bronzy brown kind of look. So I guess gonna be taking this kind of crease brush. I'm just kind of put it on the crease. This is going to be also our transition shade. So now I'm going to be taking this tape brush and just kind of blend the crease area. So now I'm going to be taking this palette from Milani. I'm just going to take this palette that I got it from, I think it was from, I got it from Walmart or Walgreens. And I'm just going to be taking this deep maroon kind of color. I'm gonna take taking the same uh, taper blending brush. Just gonna get a little bit, tap the excess off, and just kind of put it like concentrated more on the outer B, and then just kind of blend to the crease a little bit. There we go. So now I'm gonna be taking this palette from Make It Forever. It's on the uh, I think it's Volume One. So it's, it says number one there, Artist Shadow Number One. So I'm gonna be taking this black color with this kind of pointy brush. And just kind of, so just kind of put, put the black on on the outer bit again, and kind of just kind of try to blend it with the crease, but concentrate the uh, the black on the outer bit. Oh sure, sorry, I'm out of frame. So I'm happy with how it looks. So just gonna take the same brush that we use again, and kind of blend it with the crease. There you go. So now I'm going to be taking this uh, paint pot by, uh, by MAC. This color let me pop. I'm just going to be applying this, this kind of uh, gold shade. I'm just going to be applying to my uh, my finger, ring finger, to my uh, lid. Because this is going to be the base for that shadow. So just apply it. There you go. So you can see. There we go. Once you have the shadow. So now that you have the paint pot, now we're gonna go to into the shadow. For the shadow, I'm just gonna be using this pigment by MAC in the color. It's gonna be in the color melon right over here. And I'm just gonna be taking this. And for that uh, pigment, I'm gonna be taking this brush, precision shadow brush. It's kind of like a flat kind of brush. And I'm just going to be taking that brush, the pigment. I'm just going to be taking it and put it on the lid. Kind of just pack it on there, however you feel like. So just kind of pack it on there. There we go. 
And what I do after I do that, I kind of get a brush with a little bit of sand off from Mac and kind of just go on the top of the crease, kind of just to make it look more blended seamlessly. There you go. And I'm just going to be taking this brush that came in with something, I remember what it is, and just kind of blend in the black with the glitter. So it looks everything seamless. So everything looks seamlessly in blend. Sorry if I can't kind of go out of frame. I'm using a mirror and can just hold out of the frame, so I'm trying not to. There you go. As you can see, it looks really blended. So I went out of camera, kind of apply my lashes and do my eyeliner. So this is the look so far. I kind of really, really like it, especially for New Year's now. And for the eyeliner, I use this Stila eyeliner. It's waterproof. And also kind of did like a... I have an eyeliner of glitter eyeliner. Well, yeah, liquid, liquid kind of glitter eyeliner to give that pop. So let me see. So you can see that kind of pop. So. And I kind of uh, use some lashes. I'm just going to leave it down below. I don't really don't remember the name of the lashes, but I'm just going to look forward for them and just put it down below. Now for the down, well, uh, for over here, I don't know how you call it. So I'm just going to be taking the same uh, palette, this palette, and you see taking the same color. So you're just taking the same color, but taking this kind of smudge brush and just kind of smudge it. So just kind of smudge that line over there. To give it more of that smokiness look. And also take a little bit of sandal. To shape from Mac and kind of just go over it. So it looks more smoky there. So there you go. So this is the eye so far. I really, really like the, this look. Especially for now New Year's. Now that, how, that we have the eyes done and everything. I'm going to be taking this color uh, of Mac. This lipstick from Mac. And the name kind of sexy. This color, and just kind of apply it to the lip because we're doing kind of really uh, dramatic kind of look for me at least. So we're just gonna be taking a lip color that's kind of nude but not really, still giving color. So here is the final look. Just gonna uh, give you a little bit of a close up. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. So, yeah, so this is the final look of the makeup. Really did enjoy doing this makeup. It was really easy, it was really simple, it was kind of high end kind of products, but not really. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please, please, if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up and a like. Well, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Bye. Uh, it's this one over here. This palette just gonna give you the most amazing, beautiful contour that you ever seen. For me, just the best palette ever. Just look.